Aloha and welcome to the SnapZoom initial setup video. We're going to walk you through how to set up your SnapZoom for your particular equipment. And we're also going to show you how to use some of the accessories that come with your SnapZoom. It's a very simple process and it's only going to take a couple of minutes. So let's get started. Let's start by mounting your phone. Take your phone, place it in the mount with its screen facing up and its camera aimed down through the lens opening. Hold the phone flat to the adapter as you flip it over and move the eyepiece jaws out of the way if they're blocking the view. Position your camera in the proximate center of the lens opening and then fasten it in place with the red thumb screw. Next, let's align the eyepiece mount with your camera. Use the included screwdriver to loosen the screw on the alignment bracket so the eyepiece mount can move freely. Slide the alignment bracket so the center notch is lined up with the approximate center of your camera lens. Once everything is aligned, retighten the screw on the alignment bracket, but please do not over tighten it. Now let's mount some optics. This particular pair of binoculars has rubber eye cups that uh, seem to work a little bit better if we fold them down. Next thing you need to do is attach the safety leash to the eye cup of your optics. Then place the optics into the eyepiece mount jaws, making sure that they're centered in the jaws. Just inspect it one more time to make sure that they're centered in the jaws and that the eye cup is flat against the base of the adapter. Then turn on your phone's camera and inspect the image. You can see here that we our image is not centered. So we're just gonna move the eyepiece slightly in the jaw until we have a centered image with nice hard edges. Then we'll zoom out any vignetting and we're ready to shoot. Now let's try using some binoculars with twist-up eye cups. These twist-up eye cups are going to allow us to really dial in the distance um, from the camera to the lenses. It's called the eye relief. And uh, you're going to see the effect of not having a, the eye relief dialed in. You're going to have a very small image like we have here. So what I'm going to do is uh, raise up the eye cups to the first level and uh, see if that improves the image at all. And we put it back on, we notice that the image is much bigger, but it's still soft around the edges, so we're going to try one more time. Up to the next level, make sure you do both eye cups at the same time, the same level. And that's a much better image, very hard lines on the outside, so that's our, that's the right height. Now just attach your leash. Fasten the jaws onto the eye cups, zoom out the vignetting, and you're ready to shoot. These binoculars are some of our favorites. They have excellent optics and they're really a pleasure to use. But because of their design, uh, we have a little bit of trouble mounting them. Uh, as you'll see uh, here when I'm placing them in the eyepiece mount, the center column is a little high and it prevents us from really getting a good solid clamping onto the eye cups. You can see a lot of space there between the mount and the eye cup and you can see we're outside of the eye relief. Um, so our image is kind of small. So generally what we do is we'll just take it off of uh, both eye cups and we'll just mount it to one of the two eye cups. You can see there the image is much better. And uh, as I fasten it onto the single eye cup you'll see that the it still is a very good strong connection and uh, it's, the eye piece is now sitting much more flush to the, to the mount base. You just zoom out the vignetting and you're ready to shoot. So let's try mounting the snap zoom on a single eyepiece optic like this spotting scope. Snap zoom works just as well with single eyepieces as it does with dual eyepiece optics. 
and you just mount it the same way uh, with the eyepiece mount clamped onto the eye cup. One problem that does happen sometimes with a single eyepiece is that uh, you will see the adapter rotating downward just because of the offset weight. Uh, that does change your image because it's going to change the eye relief distance. So we have two solutions for that. One is that first you just remove the snap zoom and you just uh, reposition it in the vertical or portrait position. And the second solution that we have is um, using one of the accessories that comes with every snap zoom. It's the counterweight accessory. Uh, it comes with a bracket and a weighted ball that can be moved back and forth in the bracket to find the balance point and a fastener. It's very easy to set up. All you need to do is have your snap zoom in hand and find the mounting hole in the eyepiece jaw and you're going to place the whole assembly onto the arm and with that little tab in the center of the bracket and then fasten it in place. Now you may be thinking why would I need the counterweight accessory if I can just uh, position the snap zoom in the vertical um, filming position and the reason is because when you shoot uh, videos the footage is going to be much easier to watch on computer screens and televisions because it's filmed in landscape as opposed to portrait um, and that's why we went through the trouble of creating this uh, counterweight adapter because uh, we like to film we like to use video a lot and um, we just have found the footage to be much easier to watch so there are you ready to shoot In this last video, I just want to show you how fast it is to remount your snap zoom after you've properly set it up. Um, basically, you're just going to slightly open the clamps to remove the eyepiece and remove your phone. And then you have to just leave them exactly how it was so you can just slip everything back into place and tighten it down. And uh, you're ready to shoot in a matter of seconds. So we thank you all very much for your patience and support. And we look forward to seeing your pictures. Thank you.